Hi everybody, Adam Miles from Daycast from the coast here. You're about to watch a video that has a little bit of a story behind it. So I wanted to take the opportunity to kind of give a little bit of a background on what this video is and why you're watching it now. Back in December of 2018, we had the awesome opportunity to interview the lovely and wonderful and talented Deborah Voorhees. As she was in preparation and pre-production, ramping up for 13 Fanboy, a absolute Friday the 13th fandom dream come true, a movie that we're still eagerly anticipating uh, now that it's in post-production, actually. So during that time period, when we had discussed everything with uh, Deborah Voorhees, we were also introduced to the lovely Jennifer Banco from Friday the 13th Part 7, who was involved in the production. And we were also introduced to Haley Reese Greenbauer. And she's an up-and-coming actress that Deborah Voorhees has thrown a huge amount of faith behind, and we can see why just after talking with her. Unfortunately, that interview we thought was lost. And the show went on, and it was a, it was it was a fun time. Everybody enjoyed it. She was a she was a blast to have on the show. And unfortunately, Deborah Voorhees and Jennifer Banco's episodes got released, but this one didn't. So after a little bit of time, we come to find that footage of the episode had actually been stored away uh, in, we found a copy of it. So without getting too far into editing it, we just wanted to get it out there. So we took the opportunity to put it together, make sure that it was, you know, the audio was good and everything else. And we wanted to present to everybody out there in preparation for 13 Fanboy, our interview with Haley Greenbauer. Enjoy, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome everybody to the cast from the coast. My name is Adam Miles and I'm joined by the wonderful, as always, Tim Johnson, Josh Lambert, and David Miles. And we have a, another special guest today, Haley Greenbauer. Or would you prefer Haley Reese Greenbauer or? Um, honestly, I don't really have a preference. I don't know if that's weird, but yeah, I'm good with Haley Reese Greenbauer, Haley Greenbauer, you know, any way you want to slice it. That's me. Haley. Perfect. Yeah, Haley. <laughs> Haley. <laughs> I like that. Perfect. Perfect. Good. So this interview is part of a small series of interviews that we're doing uh, for Deborah Voorhees and the 13 fanboy picture movie that is coming out soon. Picture movie. I said that, by the way. Sure. <laughs> it's, picture movie. it's a moving, it's a moving picture. picture. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> So we're gonna we're gonna do more of these interviews as we go, but uh, we were given the opportunity to talk to somebody. Uh, Deborah messaged me and said she is the next big thing. Please, you're gonna want to talk to her. And I said, send her our way. We need to talk to this lady. So here we have it. Thank you for joining us, Haley. Thank you. Very of much. course. Thank you guys for having me. Deborah is so sweet for saying that. <laughs> she is a very sweet person. She was the first one that we interviewed from this uh, small uh, group of interviews that we're doing, and she was absolutely a sweetheart to talk to. Oh, so. yep, definitely. And a sweetheart to work with. Too, so. Ooh, that's good to hear. I like that. Yeah. So, so we're just going to kind of kick it right off. Let's get right into the meat and bones of this. Tim, take us out. I guess the first kind of question that, you know, I kind of want to know, how did you get involved, like, did Deborah message you? Did you get like a call? Like, how 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 did you get involved? <laughs> um, I got involved. So um, you know Vincent DeSanti from Never High Cologne. Mm -hmm. So I worked with him on a Panasonic like camera test, 
um, in LA. And so we got along really well. We did like a little video together and a shoot. And then I guess he just remembered me and he is working, you know, on the project as well. And so he knew Deborah. Deborah reached out to him asking if he knew of anybody in LA, like some talent that he'd recommend. And then so I got an email from Deborah kind of out of the blue being like, hey, like, I know Vincent, who knows Ben, who who also worked on Never Hike Alone as well. And she was like, would you be interested in auditioning for really just the campaign Indiegogo video? Um, so I was like, yeah, that's I would love to do that. And um, we did a Skype um, audition and a couple of phone calls here and there. And then next thing I know it, I'm in New Mexico. So nice. um, and that's how I got involved with the project. And we all just got along super well. Um, Andrew um, Lighty from Never Hike Alone as well was in the Indiegogo campaign. And so we were all on the same flight from L.A. to New Mexico. We had such a fun shoot, and we all just got along super well. And Deborah um, asked me pretty much on the shoot, she's like, would you be interested in the lead? And I'm like, well, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> and that's kind of um, just how I got really started is I just got brought onto that Indiegogo campaign through um, Vincent, really. So Nice, nice. That's yeah, good. we'll we'll, uh, we'll definitely admit we have lots of love for Vincent on this side. We've we've ta- we've had him on the show back when Never Hike Alone first came out. And, oh yeah, uh, he is just phenomenal. And we've we've done a couple of other projects with him on the side, little things that uh, will eventually see the light of day. I think you're going to enjoy those. But uh, oh good. yeah, no, he's so fun to work with. He was the one that was actually like in the campaign video, drowning me in the pool. Oh, wow. um, I mean, so he had like the mask and stuff, and he was just, but he's just was the best person to work with. You know what I mean? Because it's like, you're underwater. You're in this, like, crazy environment. But it's like, I trusted him 100%, which is great. Um, you know, and it's just, like, we'd have, like, this code. Like, I'd pinch him, like, throw me up above the water. And it was good. <laughs> really tall and able to, like, do that. Because it was, it, was it was an intense shoot, but it was fun. So I'm excited to work with him again in, like, the, the whole feature film. Because it's going to be a different ball game. So mm-hmm. Absolutely. Tim, does your question go deeper than that? My question does go a little tiny bit deeper. Please proceed. Um, <laughs> um, now, it says on IMDb your character's name is Kelsey. Mm-hmm. But what I find interesting is your last name. Now, it says Kelsey Voorhees. Now, I don't know if you're allowed to reveal any story plot points or anything like that, but... Yes, I, I am, because I know Deborah already said this in a okay. live chat on Facebook. Okay. So I am very confident that I can say this. Um, right. So Deborah is playing, um, she's my grandmother. And so I'm Called Deborah it. Voorhees' grandmother. Uh, uh, cool. Very cool. Josh. Okay, whatever. <laughs> you said that Josh is in the background going, Called it! Oh, <laughs> yeah. you know, just a to Jason, no biggie. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. Tim, does your question go even deeper than that? Are you a fan of horror movies in general? Is that kind of why you jumped at this opportunity? Aside from it being like, you know, a feature and a cool project or anything. But like, are you like generally like into horror movies? Yeah, of course. I am into horror movies, um, but I am one of the people that love to go, but I also watch it, like, through a blanket and through my mm-hmm. fingers. But, I mean, I still watch it, but I am that person, you know, so. <laughs> but, yes, I've always loved, um, like, horror movies, and then also, like, every year for my birthday, like, growing up, like, me and all of my friends would go to this huge haunted house in Texas. So it was, like, at the end of, because my birthday is in the beginning of November, and so mm-hmm. every single birthday since, like, in kind of middle school, we'd always go to this, like, like this huge haunted house that would take, like, an hour to get through. So, I mean, I've always, like, I love, like, being scared, but I also, you know, I like it that it's a movie <laughs> or a haunted attraction. So, I'm definitely excited. But, nice. yeah. Very cool. nice. That's awesome. That's awesome. Is there anything else that you can tell us about the invol- your involvement with the, with the actual production? Or, you know, anything more oh. about the character? Or anything that you can without a gag order, you know, type of thing, right? Tell us yeah, about. Yeah, of course. Right? Um, well, I know Deborah is, Angel, like, working super hard to make it, you know, a, yes, it's a slasher movie. But it also is, like, has a lot of depth to it, too. It's, like, suspense, thriller and also kind of slash like it has those kills that everyone loves from like the Friday the 13th movies 
but it's not just a slasher. You know what I mean? So it's kind of cool that she's bringing in different elements from kind of different genres to make it like kind of just, not like creating an own genre, but kind of, if that makes any sense. Mm, yeah. So, and the character, I'm excited because my character is, um, she's kind of complicated. You know, she's gone through some stuff and she's got a lot of stuff going on. You know what I mean? And I feel like sometimes in horror movies, it's not necessarily like a lot of backstory and stuff to each character. Yep. You know what I mean? <clears throat> that makes sense. <laughs> That makes it did sense. no it did yeah. it did that's it, that it did so no this is great this is great and we can't wait to see more about the movie as production proceeds and uh i definitely we got our finger on the pulse now with uh with uh, deborah and the cast and the crew so we'll be reporting on everything that we possibly can that's for sure so but um let's get a little bit on the other side of 13 fanboy your prior to 13 fanboy here uh, a little mm -hmm. bit josh you had a question didn't you yeah, so I was just wondering, like, as a fellow horror fan, we all have our favorite iconic slasher. So I was wondering, what some of your favorite slashers were, and maybe what were your favorite deaths in the other uh, series, be it Friday or Nightmare? Or um, I liked, honestly, I liked the first one the best, Friday the 13th, um, which I know, I don't know, it just, it kind of stood out differently to me with all the other ones. I mean, I love all of the, all of, like, the intense, like, slasher kills. It's fun, but... It's always like the jumping out parts that scare me the most, of course. Um, mm. But I liked the beheading of the mother, <laughs> mm. you know? So, I mean, obviously that that's like epic for me. Um, but I don't know. I mean, I just, I do like Friday the 13th movies. I've liked all the Halloween movies as well. Um, the Ring really messed with me. I know it's not a slasher, but that yeah. horror movie really messed with me. <laughs> like, yeah. so, um, which I mean, it's good because when you want to, like, when you watch one of those movies, you kind of want to be left with that, oh, okay. Like, kind of creeping around the apartment, you know, and that kind of did that for me, so. No, definitely. <laughs> nice. Dave, did you have something to ask? Um, I guess my question is, uh, obviously, you're a horror fan. I mean, it sounds like, you, you know, you know the franchise, the Fridays and the Nightmares and the Halloweens and whatnot. Uh, are you going to be using any of those for inspiration for your role um, yeah, I mean, definitely, I would, I mean, there's so many, like, there's so many, like, great women that were in these entire series, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So, I guess, Absolutely. when I go home, because I'm going to talk to my sisters and be like, hey, guess what, guys, we're binge-watching all the Friday the 13th movies, because I would love to not do it by myself. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. and my sister's like, I don't really, horror movies scare me, and I'm like, it's fine, we got the dogs, it's going to be fine, well, I'll <laughs> do it for the week, so, um, I mean, definitely, yeah. Like, I'm going to try to use that for my character building as well. But my character in the movie, she's like an MMA cage fighter. So, oh, what? Yeah. Exclusive. Okay. Exclusive. Yeah, you heard it here first. Um, so, I'm actually training um, a little bit for MMA, which is super fun and challenging. And that's also something that's helping me get into the mindset of the character, you know? So, yeah. Very cool. I like that. Very cool. Excellent. Well, that is wonderful. That is wonderful. So, up until now, though, mm -hmm. what what do you what do you feel has been like the the, the most fun that you've ever had doing a movie a TV show? Like, what, what's the most fun that you've had as an actress up until now? Talk to us. Uh, let's see. The most fun. That is a loaded question. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Well, I don't know. I mean, there's been so many um, so many fun projects that I've been on. Um, the most one I know it's a little bit old. But, like, the most, like, epic, in my opinion, would be I, when I was younger, I was on Barney, the Purple Dinosaur. So, I think <laughs> that one is the most memorable. Yes, I was 10 and 11. Um, nice. but so, that's not the most recent one, of course. But um, we did, like, the live tour. And so, we traveled to the United States, Puerto Rico, Canada, Mexico for a little over a year. Wow. And so, we were on Jules tour bus. The kids were on the tour bus. We traveled around and performed in um, Radio City Music Hall, actually, in New York. Nice. Um, which was my first trip to New York. My mom was just like, wow, you're nine years old. This is your first time in New York, and you're performing at Radio City Music Hall. Like, are you crazy? <laughs> um, so I feel like that one's kind of hard to beat, of course. Um, but I've worked on another project that I really did like. Um, super fun. It was a pilot that we act it kind of it did get picked up, and then there was, like, some kind of lawsuit kind of thing, and so it actually, like, dropped which was sad, 
but it was like a college comedy, kind of raunchy, but like hilarious. Um, and so that one did drop, but that was last year. Um, and so we got originally like tied on for like 10 episodes um, and all of like them were written and I read all of them and I just was really getting into the character. But unfortunately, like L.A., some projects just fall, you know, yeah. so but that was probably like the most recent one that I really enjoyed, of course. So. Very cool. Very cool. Wow. It's uh, kind of a bit of a roller coaster ride. I mean, you Barney and. Yeah. Ra raunchy comedy college to slasher yeah. horror this is yeah, it's kind I mean, of an interesting it's ride. la you never know what you're gonna get <laughs> and you just gotta hold on because it's just crazy but i'm so honored to be a part of this project i really am excited for um just like seeing what it can do for my career as well and being able to work with deborah um again it's I'm very, very excited. And Andrew and Vincent. So they're all very talented people. And I, of course, you know, all of the, the big names from the Friday the 13th franchise. I haven't met any of them yet, um, but I am very excited to work with them. So, so then we won't tell anybody, but you can tell us, right? We'll keep it confident here. <laughs> oh, who are, yeah. who are you looking forward to meeting the most on set that you haven't met yet? Uh, I mean, probably Kane Hooder, probably. Mm -hmm. Um, I just, I mean, he's just always, he's scary, you know, he's just like the guy <laughs> in the mask. So yeah. I'm a little, um, I mean, I mean, I don't know if it would be like the most excited. I'd be like, Hey, how's it going? nice to meet you. I'm going to be over here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but I don't know. So probably him and then, um, CJ Ma or CJ Graham and Tom Matthews probably right. are up there as well. Yeah. I, I, w I can attest to the fact that Kane Hodder is very intimidating in person. Potter, yeah, uh, yeah, and, yeah. Really <laughs> and uh, he went, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I got a nice little story about him choke, choking me for pictures, and oh, yeah, see, that's what I'm that's... afraid of. Just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm very excited. Yeah, so it's, I, I have um, total faith in Deborah bringing on like an amazing group of people because um, she did in like the Indiegogo campaign. Like everyone was amazing, from you know um, behind the scenes to like right in front of the camera. So which I'm very excited to see. Absolutely. As we are, and we just, we look forward to hearing more and more about this. And uh, you know what? We'll probably be talking to you again here shortly because, you know, when okay. things pick up with the production, we just want to keep in touch with everybody. And we want everybody out there, the fans that are eagerly awaiting this movie to to hear and, and see more of what's going on because this mm -hmm. is going to be one heck of a thrill ride for everybody. So, yeah. I agree. Awesome. So thank you so much for guys for being so involved and help promoting the project. So it's going to mm. going to be great. It's our pleasure. It's our pleasure. And thank you very much for joining us. Of course. And, uh, Anytime. Absolutely. So why don't you say goodbye to the fans? Cause we're going to wrap it up this episode. We're just going to kind of yeah, keep it definitely. short, but say goodbye to the fans. Bye guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so excited to, um, you know, be seen on the big screen. So. Excellent. And until next time, Josh. See you later. Dave. Have a good night, everyone. Tim. Stay spooky. Stay spooky. All right. <laughs> See you later, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us. Have a good night. Bye, guys. Thank you.